What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out Jaspi's nine box offseason baseball mixer random teams numero tres, guys. Number three features some draft, museum, some Bowman, and much more, guys. So, again, 30 spots. Everybody gets a random team in the MLB all card ship from even dating back to 2020 Bowman baseball. We got some 2021 in here, 2022, and some 2023 products, guys. We got about like four years worth of products. Here's the list of names from the winners from the uh, filler and everybody else that bought in straight up. There's the teams. Now, it is part of the promo, guys. So, at the end, I'll put your guys' names in the promo list. And, uh, again, we've done 14 mixtures now, guys. Not too shabby there. Uh, we'll call this here nine box mixture number three. Just got to do six more mixtures, guys. All right. So, let's do the break now, guys. Here we go. Let's dice roll it. And three and three, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times, six times. Tana down to Matthew. Three and three, six, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Astros, down to the Giants. Six, six. All right, so Tanner, you have the Astros, Matt with the Mets, Nancy with the Phillies, Roy with the Dodgers, Sean with the Braves, Francis with the Minnesota Twins, Roy with the Rockies, Josh with the uh, uh, Red Sox, Adam with the Rangers, last one, Mojo. Karen with the Marlins, Tristan with the A's, Scott with the Angels, Matt with the Cubs, Tristan with the Mariners, Jason with the Royals, Chris with the Rays, Adam with the D-backs, Tristan with the Ro Orioles, Brian with the Blue Jays, Patrick with the Guardians, Joseph uh, with the uh, Nationals, John with the Reds, David with the White Sox, Matt with the Pirates and Brewers, Ryan with the Tigers, Matt with the Cardinals and Padres, Adam with the Yankees, and then Matthew with the Giants. Now remember guys, we're dating back to 2020 Bowman, Jason Dominguez is a big one, Volpe now is a really big one now. He's the first in there, right? There's Bobby Wood Jr. first. And uh, I think at the time, there was a uh, Oakland A's uh, prospect that was really big there too. I'm trying to remember his name now, but I'm kind of blanking. And obviously different years for 2021, 2022, Julio's rookie year, etc. And obviously 2023 stuff. Robert Pawson. There you go. Whatever happened to that guy? Is he still like... Is he still like their top prospect? I mean, the dude's still only like 20 years old. Or 21, but... I mean, he was supposed to be their guy, but I have no idea where he's where he's really at in their pipeline. Okay, so their number four prospect. I guess that's pretty high. All right, does anybody want to make any trades, guys? If not, I'm going to close the trade window. SKS gets two in the cup hockey random two random teams break. Let's do some cup. Let's do some cup. That brings it down to nine left, guys. Cup hockey, baby. We get two random teams, guys. I know we got some hockey guys in here. 
Dude, I remember on release date, Kupperman, I, I hit a Volpe Red autograph to five. And I remember no one even cared about it because everybody was chasing Dominguez. Then that same card, I think, ended up selling an auction before the beginning of last year for like $100,000. They graded it a PSA 10, whoever had it now. I still have the photo here, man. I just remember nobody really cared about it. Everybody was like, "Ah, eh, it's okay. He's 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 good." But but you know, but you know, he's not he's not he's not Jason Dominguez big. There it is right there. On release day too. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> That's what we prospect, guys. That's what we prospect, right? All right, I'm closing the trade window, guys. I don't think anybody's going to trade. But yeah, someone graded it a PSA 10 and then it sold for like 100000 I think. Good for them. I don't think it was the original owner, though. I'm sure it bounced around. All right, let's start off with the 2023 Bowman draft. Just a normal Bowman. Paul Wilson to four ninety nine. Jake DeLeo for the Miami Marlins. Four. Colin Howick to 54. Bowman 54. Flashback. For the Mets. That's cool. Mets, that is Matt. And it looks like a facsimile as well. I don't think it's a real autograph.
Ty Pete. Why Langford? And a Zantanello for the Red Sox going to Josh. To 199 autograph. Why Langford Refractor? Kephas. Blue Jason Shario. And Cunningham for the Orioles going to Tristan. Cam Fisher. And Roderick arrives to one twenty five. All right, there's the first box there, guys. Three autos, the Bowman 54. Now let's go to 2020 Bowman.
All right, here we go, guys. There's a rubber pass in there. There's a uh, De La Cruz, a little Atomic. I think these are just one per box as well. Sam Huff. Church and Apostle. Bobachette rookie Kyle Lewis and wow is that a red paper? It looks like red paper. Trevor Story. Three out of five red paper. Colorado Rockies. That's going to Roy. Take that. I'll take that. There's a Dominguez first. Oh, for sure, Nick. This this was definitely one of those COVID ones. I mean, that's why Jason Dominguez blew up, honestly. You know? This was a straight-up uh, pandemic uh, price product. I mean, it ended up shaping up to be a pretty nice little Bowman draft year, though. Don't get me wrong now. A few years later. There's a Bayron Laura. He's like a bigger first, too. He only has autograph. He only has base in here in colors, but his autographs are on the next one. I think Bowman Chrome. And we got a Joey Cantillo to 25 orange shimmer for the Padres. Well, at least there's a color. That was a uh, really really later round pick, but <laughs> still an autograph though. Cardinho to four ninety nine. Then we got a Cabrian Hayes to four ninety nine prospect. There's a Volpe first paper. Yeah, very clean design. I will say, you're right. Yeah, pretty nice. Thirtieth overall, Volpe was. All right, well we're gonna still stick to twenty twenty. This time it's gonna be Bowman Draft twenty twenty first edition.
Here we go. Ronaldo Hernandez. We'll just leave up those papers, though, for sure. There's a Jordan Walker first. Rutford. Was that Evan Carter, the guy for the Rangers that that kind of blew up later that later this last season in the playoffs? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I'm gonna sleeve up his stuff too. All right. I was looking it up, and yeah, it was him. And we got a Tanner Burns to 25. Then we got Jay Grome to 150. Zach Veen, I know, is a good one for that, too. The 75 DL Hall. Ed Howard. Yeah, the 2020 draft is Rutschman's first year, right? Zach Britton. Ah, it's coming back to me now. It's coming back. <laughs> it's been a while since I ripped any of this one. But it's so crazy. Ripping it years later, you start realizing how many more players are already in the MLB a few years later, you know? Ruffledge. Jaron Duran. There's Bobby Miller. That was the first. That's cool. We got some crazy color coming up in this box, so hopefully there's an autograph here. No guarantee though, but there's torque. Actually, torque is the big one in this one. Actually, sorry, I think it might have been a different year. 19 draft, I think. Yeah, it's Corbin. Heston Kirstad. There's a Rutschman in 75. Yeah, well, 2020, see, this is the thing. 2020 draft is different. These are like the draft picks, and then right, and then Bowman Baseball was what, with Bobby Witt and Jason Dominguez and Volpe and Pawson and those guys. The draft one, I think, was this one was like, I remember if it was Torgelson. I know Pete Armstrong was pretty big back then, too. Kesson Hirschstad is a good prospect for them, too. But I always get confused with Draft and Bowman. I mean, it's the same year, essentially, but different chases, I guess. So, I mean, you're not wrong either, man. This is all coming back to me now, finally. Banya might have been in Draft 2, actually, yeah. I, oh, there's Spencer Strider. Even Robert Hassel's right there, too.
There's a Dominguez, not a first, but we'll still sleeve it up because it's that color. We got Perdomo to 75. We got Francisco Alvarez to 75. All right, well, no autograph because there's no guarantee, but we got some nice color numbered cards. I got that orange there. It was fun. Fun to kind of rip this stuff, man, because you never know. Might end up hitting actually a monster in one of these older boxes. So I'll sleeve up all these first. Some of these guys, of course, are studs, all-stars now in the MLB a few years later. Some of these guys are still in the pipeline for their team for prospects, but they're right up there now. I'm just going to sleeve up all those blues. Yeah, dude, nuts, bro. 2020 was a wild time, man. I mean, that's that was basically, yeah, the 2020 Bowman baseball with the Dominguez and those guys was on blow up box. I mean, 1920 Prison Basketball was one of those boxes. Same thing with Luca, 1819, around that time. Crazy. 2020 Prism, everything 2020 football. Was wild, dude. I mean, thankfully. Around that time, we kind of got blessed with so many great draft classes, too. I mean, looking back at it now. I mean, I think that was the key, right? It's just that there were some great players, man, at the time. All right, let's go to some tribute. I mean, not tribute, uh, some tier one. Kind of switch it up a little bit. Two hits and a relic. First one is a Greg Maddox to 75 for the Cubs. Going to Matt G. Then we got a uh, Jock Peterson to 400 for the Giants, Matthew Keck. And then a Pineda to 299 for the Washington Nationals, going to Joseph. Top's chrome black now. The only other box I still have that has a bunch of potential base cards is going to be the Ben Baller chrome, but that's a nice higher end product now, so kind of leaving it towards the end. And then I'll do some of the lower end stuff right now after. See the Adams. Francisco Lindor to 75 for the Mets. And, oh, a little bit of a teaser. Brandon Fat. Teaser there for the Diamondbacks, but cover mount's going to you. get an autograph here though but I am seeing a handful of colors here now so making me pretty excited this was probably one of my favorite Ben Baller years I don't think they made Ben Baller 2023 but I, I wish they did made it all black like this really really fun product to rip last year I mean I guess they could still make it if they really wanted to
Uh, Jacob DeGrom. To 75. We got Acuna. Gaika, Juan Soto to 99 for the Nationals. There's an Otani. We got a green Buxton. To 99. Sunny Gray. Gold to 50. 42 out of 50. Wells. A little bit of a teaser there for us. Out of 25. J Rod rookie. We got a Reed Detmers and a nice O'Neill Cruz rookie. He should be back this year for the Pirates. Number to 50. That's Juan Franco. Die Cut Hunter Green. Neil Cruz. Alrighty guys, a couple of museum collection and we ended off with Immaculate. George to 50, or Jorge Soler. Then we have a Trevor Story. Trevor Relic and Autograph. For the Colorado Rockies, it's going to 199. Kevin Biggio to 10 patch. For the uh, Toronto Blue Jays going to Brian. And how about a little Jay Cronenworth rookie? Nice. That was a bigger rookie in 2021. Out of 199 for the Padres. Padres, that's going to Matt. And wow, a little quad here for the Angels. Otani, Trout, Rendon, and Pujols. Game use memorabilia. Nice one there for the Angels. Gwyneth Scott.
All right, we're gonna go to 2022 museum now. Here we go, guys. JT Ramuto quad relic to 75 for the Phillies. And Alex Bregman for the Houston Astros, dual relic and autograph to 50. Houston going to Tana. We got a Derek Jeter relic. How about that? Meaningful materials, and that should be like a game or two, guys. Usually it does say like game used. Yeah, game used memorabilia. 7 out of 10. Nice one there for the Yankees, and that's going to go to Cup. Rizzo there for the Yankees as well to 150. And we got a Jack Flaherty to 125 archival autographs. Alrighty guys, down to the final box of the mixer. Here we go guys, 2021 Immaculate. Heavy box. Alright, we got Kieber Ruiz to 49. Fernando Tatis Jr. To 49. So this should be a 130, I think. No, it's away. Hodges going to Matt. Whoa, Ian Anderson. Look at that RPA. Atlanta going to Sean. Thick. And we got a Anderson Tejeda to 99 for Texas. Going to Adam. 
And we got a little Bo Bichette to 25 for Toronto. Brian with that one. Blue Jays going to Brian. And last hit of the break is going to be a Zach McKinstry for the Dodgers to 99. Dodgers going to Roy. There you go. And there you go, folks. That was the mixer. Thank you guys so much. A pretty fun one to rip. A lot of really nice stuff popping out of here. Obviously, I know there's going to be a handful of teams. Probably kind of went hit list. Didn't get much. But everything does ship. So uh, still should be getting something, guys. So appreciate it, guys. Again, uh, like I said, I'm going to put you guys in the promo now. Before I log off on this video. You guys are going to be right here. And like I said, all we have to do is about six more. Six more mixers, really. And get that promo done. Appreciate it, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.